Okay, and snow is the big story this morning. It's coming uh, sometime in the mid-morning, as Bill said, but CP24's Courtney Heels is keeping her eye on the weather. And Courtney, I know a lot of people might have put their shovels or, you know, ditched the salt, uh, but the city <laughs> seems to be prepared for this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the city says they are ready for this system that is going to roll through later on today, guys. They say they have the snow plows on standby, the salters. Of course, when the snow rolls into the city, they'll get those plows out on the expressways, the major roads. Really, the message for anyone who will be out on the roads today, be prepared for this. And if you're traveling by air, you also should check the status of your flight. On that, let's bring in Sean Davidson. He's with the Greater Toronto Airports Authority, joining us live this morning. Uh, good morning, Sean. We'll start by asking, how are things looking over at Pearson? at this hour. Uh, good morning. Things are actually looking really great right now. We have very minimal delays or cancellations. Almost none of those at this point are due to uh, the weather system that we're seeing. So a really smooth start to our operations here this morning. Okay, that is good news. Now looking ahead to when this system is going to roll through, how could that impact uh, travel and what should passengers be aware of? So the thing with this storm is that we've been saying is that there's a bit of variability in terms of exactly what we're expecting. So right now we're not seeing a lot of delays or cancellations, uh, but we could see some more later as that, as that storm comes in. I mean, there's a big difference between whether or not the airport gets hit with five or 15 centimeters of snow and, and our response to it varies based off that. We work with some of the best forecasters to determine exactly what's gonna happen here at the airport. But this storm's a little bit tricky to, to, to pinpoint exactly how it's going to hit us. Uh, but right now we're not looking at a number uh, of delays and cancellations and, and we're hoping to keep it that way. Uh, but when the snow does come, we have a team of high tech snow clearing equipment, 120 pieces uh, of equipment will go out on the taxi runways and aprons. Uh, we fully launched our DA some facilities so when these snow events hit, uh, we're prepared. We, we see this coming days in advance, and we make sure that everybody's ready to go for days like, days like this. Mm -hmm. And when Environment Canada issues a warning such as the snowfall warning we're under right now, does that change anything in terms of the approach for your crews? So, as I just said, we rework days in advance of these storms with all of the people who work here at the airport, whether it's NAV Canada or CBSA or I mean, any of the agencies here. Uh, we work collaboratively with them, the airlines, to make sure that when these snow events come, uh, that we're ready. So that might mean the airlines having to modify some of their schedules. Uh, but but we're, we're, we're prepared for storms like this. Again, I said we work with some of the best uh, forecasters to determine exactly uh, what's going to happen here. There is a bit of variability in this storm. Uh, but when we come to days like today, we are fully ready to go. We make sure that we are staffed up at our DS facilities, we're staffed up for our snow plowing crews. We bring everybody on board to make sure that the taxiways, runways, aprons get as clear as possible so that we can get people going as fast as possible. But at the end of the day, uh, safety is number one for us. So we're going to make sure that every flight here uh, is ready to go safely before they do. Sean Davidson uh, with the Greater Toronto Airports Authority joining us live this morning. So the message there over at Pearson, guys, they are watching the system as closely as we are right now. Uh, we're also going to check in with the GTAA a little bit later on to see how things are going. But if you have a flight later on, just check the status of your flight. And again, we'll also be talking with the city to see how crews here will be planning for later on today. Over to you. Okay, CP24's Courtney Hills reporting live for us uh, downtown.